Hi everybody, I'm Colton with Promolife and today I'm going to be going through the accessories in the basic ozone insufflation package. If you still need to hook up your oxygen source, humidifier combo, and ozone generator, please check out our setup video. Today I'll be going over how to use each of the accessories included in the package, which include a 500ml water bubble humidifier combo, a Teflon ear scope, a multi-chamber bag kit which comes with 3 bags and 10 catheters, as well as two 60ml syringes. For this video, we'll be using a flow rate of 1 8 liters per minute, but your flow rates and concentrations may vary. We recommend whenever using the equipment that you're in a room with good circulation or have a fan going. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to use each of these in detail. You can use your water bubble humidifier to make ozonated water or perform humidified insufflations. Right now I'm going to show you how to make ozonated water. You'll first want to turn on your oxygen tank and set your flow rate. Once you see the bubbling in the water, this lets you know that the oxygen is flowing. Now, turn your generator onto its max setting. Let this ozone bubble through the water for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how strong you want the water to be. Once that time's elapsed, turn off your ozone generator and let this oxygen continue to flow momentarily just to push the remaining ozone out of the system. You can then turn off your oxygen and once the bubbling stops, you can use your ozonated water. Now I'll show you how to use this system to perform humidified insufflations. An ear insufflation is the process of introducing ozone into your body through your ears using an ear scope. Most prefer to use a humidifier when doing this therapy as it makes the ozone less harsh. To perform a humidified ear insufflation, the first step is to make ozonated water. You'll also want to attach your ear scope to your destruct system like so. After your water is fully ozonated, turn the generator setting down to your preferred concentration for ear insufflations. After waiting for a moment for the new concentration to flow through the system, you can then place the ear scope in your ears. I do want to mention that you don't want to press the earbuds deep into your ears as this will cause a buildup of pressure in your ear canals. You should have the earbuds resting right at the opening of your ears. Now, turn the port on your destruct system so that the ozone flows into the ear scope rather than through the destruct. Normally people let the ozone gas flow into the ears for 5 minutes. After this time has elapsed, you can turn the port on the destruct back to its original position and power down your system. I do like to mention that this water can still be used as it is fully ozonated. Now I'll show you how to fill up a multi-chamber bag. The multi-chamber bag is used to hold ozone gas and is mainly used for rectal and vaginal insufflations. To fill the bag, you want to have your oxygen already flowing and make sure that the clamp on the multi-chamber bag is open. Then, turn the generator on to whichever setting you need to reach your preferred concentration and immediately attach the multi-chamber bag to the ozone out port. Depending on how much volume you are wanting, pinch the bag at one of these two points to block off the remaining sections. Now let the gas fill the chamber and once this bag feels full, disconnect the multi-chamber bag tubing from the generator, clamp it shut, and turn off your ozone generator. Now you can close your oxygen tank. Now I'll explain what catheters are and what accessories they can be attached to. Catheters are used for performing rectal and vaginal insufflations. They can be attached to either a multi-chamber bag or syringe and then inserted into the rectum or vagina to transfer the gas into your body. To attach the catheter to a multi-chamber bag, you'll simply take the end of the catheter with a fitting and twist it onto the fitting on the end of the multi-chamber bag tubing. Then, you'll insert the catheter approximately 4 inches for both rectal and vaginal insufflations, undo the clamp on the multi-chamber bag, and apply light pressure to the bag to begin the insufflation. You can also use the catheters with the syringe if you prefer. The catheter attaches to the tip of the syringe in the exact same way as the multi-chamber bag fitting. Then you'll lightly depress the plunger to push the ozone through the catheter. Now, I'll show you how to use the syringes that are included in this package. The 60ml syringes can be used for sinus and mouth insufflations. To fill a syringe with ozone gas, you'll first turn on your oxygen. Now, you'll turn on your ozone generator to preferred concentration and immediately attach your syringe to the ozone out port. You will see the syringe start to fill, and once it's at your designated volume, you'll then disconnect the syringe and immediately turn off the ozone generator. Now, you can power down your system. At this point, you can use your syringe for either sinus or mouth insufflation. I did want to mention that these syringes can also be used to clean your catheters after use. To do so, you'll fill the syringe with sanitizing solution, attach the catheter at the tip, and perform a flush of the catheter. Thanks for watching. Check out our other YouTube videos for more information and be sure to follow us on social media. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos.